Hello, I'm Afsha and welcome to the 3D Fashion Solutions channel. Throughout my work with browser researcher files, I've noticed a common challenge that many users face. Effectively applying 3D rings and adjusters to strappy styles like lingerie and swimwear. Today, we're diving into this topic to help you overcome these struggles and master the art of applying rings and adjusters to enhance your designs. Let's jump right into the tutorial. This is the cute swimwear style that we're going to be working with dressed on the Olivia avatar and you'll notice right now that the strap is in one piece and we actually need to cut it into two pieces because we're going to be adding in the ring. So I'm going to select that bottom edge that's connected to the back and clone edge by offset by 3 8 of an inch. And that new internal line that was created, I'm going to select that and just slice. You'll notice that the stitches are still intact, so if you were to press the dress button, your garment would not fall apart. But right now I'm going to select that stitch that is connecting the two strap pieces and delete it. And I'm going to go to the insert tool, rectangle, and add a square that's 0.5 by 0.5. And then I'm going to clone the material, the strap material. And for that new clone material, I'm going to go into the physics and with this magnifying glass, I can find where the hardware material is. So I've just updated that material to a hardware and I'm going to make sure I update the name so it's not confused with the original material. And then we're going to make sure it's completely transparent. So we're going to apply that to the piece that we're gonna add the ring on top of. And then we wanna update the grid of it and the layer order to zero because we wanna make sure that ring sits behind the straps. So with my assign tool, I'm gonna add in my rings now, make sure they're aligned correctly and then I can lock them in place. Then with my pen tool, go ahead and draw the internal lines that I'm gonna stitch the strap to. Now I can go ahead and add in my stitches. And then I need to arrange those ring pieces. Now I can hit the dress button and finish the simulation. And when you first dress, you might not get them exactly where you want them to be. Right now, the top edge of the ring is sitting in front of the strap. So I'm gonna move in the internal lines a little bit more. And then I'm gonna have to go in with the styling tool to adjust that. So I can try to move the ring back and dress again and if it helps with the bottom but we still need to do the top so I can select the strap this time and with the focus mode pull that out in front of the ring. And now I can hold it in place if I have it where I want it to be and we'll do the same thing with the other. And we're gonna need some support from the strap with the focus tool. And I use my gizmo for all of this. Now I can hold in place. And the rings are added. Next we're going to go in and add in our adjusters. So I'm selecting my adjuster and assigning it where I want it to land. And then I'm going to go in and with my gizmo, I just want to turn it in the right orientation. Do the same for the other side. And you can position them exactly in the same place. So when you press dress, they'll be sitting right on top of the strap and that's what you want but i'm going to lock the trim now and go in and add in internal lines where i'm going to add in the 
additional strap piece that's going to be looped through the adjuster. So we'll go back to the insert rectangle tool, add in my strap piece, assign my stitches to it. And then we're going to stitch it to the internal line after we update the uh, grid of it and the layer order. And for the layer order, you want to make sure you give it an extra layer over um, the strap that it's going to be attached to because you want to take the 3D trim into consideration. Then we're going to arrange those pieces and hit the dress button. And this is how it should look. And if you ever, if it ever sits behind the strap and it's not sitting over the ring, you can always go back in with the styling tool with the focus mode to pull it back out like we did with the rings. We've reached the end of this tutorial and I trust that these tips will help you enhance your 3D garments. Remember that 3D Fashion Solutions is here to guide you on your brand's digital product development journey. Visit our website 3dfashionsolutions.com to explore our services and schedule a free consultation meeting. Thanks again and see you next time.